All right, guys, so we're back today, and today we have a very special ration. This is a box of Danish treats. A good friend and viewer of the channel for a long time, Robert, he sent this to me. We actually had it for probably damn near two weeks now, and we threw it in the refrigerator as soon as we got it. So if there's anything chocolatey in it, it's not going to melt and be a big mess. Uh, so we just finally got a chance to take it out. And so Robert lives in Canada. His wife is Danish. They just went to Denmark, and... Um, I guess on a little vacation, and he brought this back. And it had a, a paper cover on it. We took it off because it had everybody's address on it, so they didn't want that. So Robert writes, Nathan and crew, enclose our treats. Robert, I'm going to do my best reading this, but it's in cursive, so it's a little difficult. Enclose our treats from my recent trip to Denmark. The cereal is from Budapest, and the hot chocolate uh, is from Airpony Lounge in Amsterdam. Uh, the pork was, what is that, the pork rinas and chocolate. I'm winging, we're winging it here. Uh, milk are from our world class. Okay, I got you. Uh, hope you enjoy. Hope you enjoy? I thought I said whore. I was like, what are you, what are you talking about? Hope you, <laughs> hope you enjoy, Rob. Thank you, Rob. Thank you and the wife for doing this for us. Um, a little bit hard to read for me, but in today's world, let's be honest, we're only reading stuff on a screen. So when somebody writes in cursive, even though I can write cursive, it's uh, a little, little hard to read there. Anyhow, without any further ado, let's open this up. And he packed us up in the goldfish box here. And uh, Nathan's up prepared again. Nice over here. It's all right. We got her. He's got some expensive. Got the good tape on this one, boys. Look at that. Look at that. Let's go dissect this ever so carefully. A lot of you guys are saying, Nathan, don't hold a knife like that. You're going to cut your finger. Well, this knife ain't that sharp at all. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Let's go and cut her all the way open here. So we can see what's going on. And there it is. That's one hell of a box of stuff. Uh, so yeah, let's jump into it and see what we got. First things first. It's like possibly a lanyard. Yes, sir. Sure is. Uh, what does that say? Can you pronounce that for me? That's a good one, isn't it? Let me uh, flick this over here. Oh. Home protection. Well, that's actually what it is. Not. I feel how cold that is. I'm bringing the refrigerator. The middle. Middle. <laughs> Then we got um, some nut mix, mandel mix, almond mix, honey roasted almonds. Should be interesting. Everything is so cold in this thing. The dummel. You ever had dummel? Stupid. <laughs> well, okay, we'll try it. This could be good. Robert and his wife's probably getting a kick out of this one. The Foolish Street, the translator's little cream tablets. Kind of like a, I'm guessing like a Werther's Original kind of situation going on. Is that maybe? Probably not. We'll see. We have Flake Saber. Some salt looks like some pork rinds. Those pork I think, rinds. I think it's pork rinds. Okay, okay. And we can actually get these here at uh, or a version of these here at the grocery store at certain times. And little uh, milk and like milk chocolate wafer thing. We actually like these a lot. Before I was not eating sugar, we get these quite a bit. Those are but, good. Um, that doesn't really fit in the no sugar situation. So we'll have to go easy on this because I don't want to get the diabetes today. A disco biscuit bar. Maybe some M&Ms on top. I don't know. We'll see. Should we maybe be doing this as we're taking all this stuff out? Sure. Are we messing up? All right. Well, let's try it. 
let's stop right here. Let's just keep going on this part of it. Let's just try a little bit of the honey nut mix. That's interesting. Look at that. Those are very covered in honey. Peanuts, got cashews in it. It's very good. Almonds. Like a very nice, sweet nut mix. Yeah. Nothing harsh, nothing weird. Hmm. Best thing to go with that is probably some, some, we we'll call them hog grinds. Hog grinds? What do they actually call them? Pork rinds? I think pork rinds. That's what I've heard. But... People call them all kinds of stuff though, but. I mean, it's the same thing. Probably the rinds is probably still slang, I would say. What they are, but they smell piggy. Is something inside of it? This thing is yeah. very crunchy. There's something inside of it. You see here. Is it cheese? I don't know. Look at me like I'm Something reading. distinct. Hmm. So basically how they make pork rinds, hog rinds, pork rinds, whatever the hell you want to call it. A little pieces of fat off. And I believe the situation was they put it in very, very hot grease and it puffs up like that. Probably more to it than just that. And then let's go ahead and try one of the milk tablets. Oh my. You can chew them up, no problem. They're, they're crunchy. I want to say where there's original type deal. A little caramel. Usually the the milk it would be like a sweet and condensed milk. That's how you make caramel or caramel, and uh, it seems similar to that. Hmm. Then the dump the stupid bar. All right, so we're back. I had a little glitch in the system, boys. Somebody forgot to charge our microphones. It's probably both of us, to be honest with you. Yep. We didn't even think about it. They went dead. We lost some footage. We got to roll it back just a little bit. We're back to the stupid bar, the dumbbell bar. So we'll go ahead and taste this again, even though it's a little redundant this time. But that'll make the video correct. So that's what we're going to do. It looks like a, a Slim Jim from that standpoint. Here you go, receiver bar, sir. Thank you. Sticky. It's very sticky. It's almost like you just tried this not long ago, huh? Almost. There it is. There's a very sweet caramel like smell. I was thinking marzipan, which is like a yeah. a German. It's a little bit. I agree. It's like not exactly caramel, but. Our disco bar. That was a caramel. Like um, almost like a shortbread cookie. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You have to try this. You don't want to use had some while ago. I think the cookie is better than the marzipan. That's just me though. That's kind of weird. A little bit, a little bit funky. Yeah. And try some of this again. These are. Yeah, that's the good. That's the good this thing. is our noppers. This is a milk. Um, Chocolate, like a wafer. Yeah, I prefer this the most, I believe.
And we could actually get these locally. Uh, a version of them locally, I would say. Chocolate on top. Look at the crumb situation going on. All right. Now, that's the last thing we've got to redo, and we're back to yeah. normal. Yep. So, this is very good, though. Philip was drinking the, the premium chocolate milk. There's your milk, sir. Thank you. It's I was good. drinking the original chocolate milk. Very good. Since 1970. Paper straws. Very chocolatey. Mine's very chocolatey. How is yours? It's like really potent. I think it's, it's very. It's not, it's not. It's not rich. It's like a dark chocolate, like a savory, but sweet. Okay. It's good. Yeah. Ten out of ten. Very very nice. Let's move on here. There is a lot going on in here. A lot. It's a Matador mix. This is Harvey Oil Matador mix. And, uh, oh, look at that. Look at that. Let's crank this baby open and I've see. Never, I've never seen it before. I haven't either. Is that a pretzel? What is that? Licorice? My pretzel is very chewy. Is it licorice? The pretzel's not. It's like a very sweet. It's like a cake icing kind of taste to it. What do you got there? Some interesting stuff in here. It's like a. I feel like it's probably just gonna be like a chocolate. Black licorice? Nope. It's not easy to chew this stuff, it takes a little bit in your mouth. What do you got? It's like a peppermint patty almost, but very tough to chew on. Mm -hmm. It's very, very, very dark licorice. I think it's a gummy bear. Sometimes. Many different things in here. Are these sugar free or are these not? These are not. And uh, they make Harvey will make sugar free and regular. Everybody jokes about the sugar free. If you eat the sugar free ones, they give you like freaking colon blow ten times over. That's awesome. And uh, yeah, don't whoever's watching this, don't send those to us. <laughs> you guys are sick like that. Oh, we'll send Nathan a whole bunch of sugar free ones. All right. I like this from my mouth. There's another bag of those back there. Let's see that next. Smells about it. It's dark. Is it licorice? Let's see here. Damn, look at that. different. Yeah, it was licorice. Smell that, see what you think. It's definitely like black licorice. Mm -hmm. That's interesting though. Now, now I got the licorice. It took a little bit before I could pick it out. I tried to save the other piece, so I couldn't tell. Very, very dark. Now, I was reading online a while back. People with high blood pressure are not supposed to eat black licorice. What does it do to you? Mm. Raise your blood pressure. Also, we got stomach problems. You're not supposed to eat it. Obviously, it's ate a little bit. Right. But um, I think my mom is in black licorice big time. So we may donate those to her. She'll definitely eat. She's not afraid to get the diabetes, boy. She'll eat all this stuff. 
But anyhow, the stuff like this, we have to be a little bit careful on. Let's keep going. The plop. The plop. Which is probably what happens after you eat too much of that, All right? Um, so this is gonna be a chocolate bar. It looks like it has uh, caramel in the middle of it. Wow, that's some dark licorice, man. Would it hit you hard or what? I mean, it's just really, really in your face. A lot of people eat that though. I mean, a lot of people love dark licorice. So while you're gonna say, Nathan, what are you gonna do with all this stuff? Well, exactly what we do with most MRA stuff is uh, stuff like this, we'll get Ziploc bags and zip it all up so it's all, like it's all broken apart. Yeah, wow. We'll zip it all up so it stays fresh. We'll probably put it in the refrigerator. And uh, I'm sure Phil will eat this, a lot of this uh, throughout the next few probably. days. It's actually really good. It's so cold too from being in the refrigerator. The coldness on that makes it perfect because it's crunchy. It's not like just mush in your mouth. The plot bar, 10 out of 10 on that one. It's very, very nice. It's very good. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do all this or not. Holy cow, Robert, that's a lot. That's a lot, lot. Me and Phillips already got the diabetes here, it seems like. It's starting today. So this is the Cactus Kids and the Fruit Stang. I'll try it. You fancy a Fruit Stang, do you? Yes. Yep. This is some kind of healthy uh, Bar. fruit roll-up. Holy crap. The sugar in this place, boys. It's everywhere. I'll tell you what, you leave a couple crumbs of this out. If you got any ants in a 10 mile radius, you know you, you don't definitely have it. Do you know what this tastes, reminds me of the smell of it? I haven't even tasted it yet. Those fruit Russian- fruit. It's a fruit roll up pretty much. Those Russian fruit bars, it kind of smells like that. Oh my gosh, there's so much sugar. That's like the most sugar, I think. The fruit stain. Is that a different one? This is a different one. What kind of fruit? We'll see. I thought we were gonna ask that, so let me see. It's like a mix. Fruit pole, strawberries. This one is a nut mix. Probably with the nut mix one. A lot of you guys are asking if we eat all the MREs. US MREs, no. We just simply can't do that. Um, we wouldn't be here, we wouldn't be alive to do videos if we did that. And a lot of you say, well, so and so eats all their MREs. Well, if you don't do a video once every six months or once a year, I guess you could eat all of the MRE. You know what I mean? Uh, but we do two a week, if not more. I just can't do that. Similar, it's more like a fig kind of taste to it, I think. Fig with nuts, almost like a fig. I like that one a lot more. It's almost like a fig newton on this side because it has the nuts yeah, and it has like fig. the. The yep. fig's good though. All right. The corny. The corny. corny big. It's got wheat. You will see this a lot of Euro stuff. I have wheat in with it. Uh, Kinder Bueno's had some wheat stuff with theirs we got those before i'm going to look at that what do you look at it i'm gonna try a piece there's not a lot of chocolate this one should be pretty decent Put together with honey, the wheat, the chocolate is a nice mix though. It's not all chocolate. It's like a nice ratio of wheat to honey, to chocolate.
Yeah, make it. I'll drink a V8 That's juice. That's pretty to, good. Drink a couple of V8 That's juices really to keep good. up. I agree the composition's pretty balanced. The gold bar. And this looks like a dark chocolate. Milk chocolate with a crunch. Are you feeling it yet? Yeah. The gold bar, boys. The gold bar. Look at that. Look at that. That's good. I'm cutting bigger and bigger pieces. I'm going to try to cut a little smaller because this still got a lot to go. There's a cross cut of it. So is it milk chocolate with a crunch? Oh my goodness. It does remind me of the crunch bars from the States, you know. The chocolate's a little bit different. You can tell it's European chocolate, but with the crunch texture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not real sweet. It's like a semi-sweet semi -sweet, chocolate. Yeah, it's very smooth milk chocolate. All right. The more I take out, the more there is. Hanuda. This is a uh, probably a hazelnut bar. Let's translate her out. Hazelnut snap. Got a sticker on the back of it here. I think we actually had these before, possibly. The one of the grocery stores here has like a, a foreign, like a year old section. Your hazelnut snap, sir. That baby is super crumbly. That's super good. It's definitely a darker, to me it's like a darker chocolate. Yeah. Almost like nearly a coffee taste to it. You catch, pick it up a little bit, you drink coffee, it's, so you probably don't know. It's probably a hazelnut. A very dark, rich tasting. That's nice. Uh, bar for sure. We're going to make it. We still got a lot to go. I'm pretty sugared out, I'll be honest. <laughs> I sugar a lot too. The Yankee original. It looks like a. Uh, I would say more of a Snickers bar type situation here. Let's cut it and we'll get the cross cut of it. Yeah, they're Musketeers maybe. A little caramel on top. I'd say definitely through Musketeers. Kind of like a nougat kind of filling in it. Yeah, that's the American equivalent. That's very good though. The chocolate's very rich. It's good nougat. Licorice. The licorice. We'll try the licorice real quick. Oh, that's interesting. What color is it? It's not what I thought it was going to be at all. Look at that. It's in the shape of like a sweet tar, but it's brown. Whoa. Like intense or what? Try one. Just take it out and... I don't... <laughs> by that reaction, I'm not sure. It's salty. Salty? Oh, I smell it. Whoa. Okay. Wow. Don't put it in your mouth, just kind of lick it a little bit and the baby will hurt you. That's like a... 
<laughs> Do what? He touched on his tongue and is looking at me. What? So, Robert, tell us in the comments. We'll let you, you comment on this video. We're going to pin your comment so you can explain a little bit to the people. What? Tell us what this is. Like, do people eat this? There's no way people eat this plain. I imagine. Or do you put this in like water or like a drink? It's pretty. It's pretty strong, but I think it'll wake you up. It's like smelling salts. I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of like smelling salts type situation. That's interesting. That's some uh, extreme flavor. And the coffee whiteners. Pour a pack of that down. Um, I think it says Turkish. Peeber, pepper, Turkish pepper, licorice. There we roll the licorice dice one more time. Oh, so it's kind of like the stupid bar. Okay, okay. But licorice. There you go, I'll cut you a little piece off. Man. It doesn't smell real strong. I don't. <laughs> Phillip's like, I don't. I'm not crazy about licorice. I don't. I don't know. It's like a sugary center tip. It's not bad. It's like a black licorice Twizzler, but like a sugary center. The center is not licorice. The center is just like sugar. Another gold bar. This one is. Let me see. Milk chocolate. thinking here. Take a big ass chunk out of there. There you go. That's a very smooth milk chocolate. pretty good it's very very nice and smooth we're almost there we're I almost had, I there had this much sugar since high school yeah because i haven't been buying anything with sugar in it for quite a while what the hell salami salami hips Probably not translating that right. That'd be a nice little change though. Oh, it smells actually pretty decent. It smells like a uh, sausage. It smells pretty good. It's like a jerky. There you go, you're salami, sir. Nice little change. It does smell like jerky, don't it? it? Tastes like jerky. It's pretty good. Nothing wrong with that. A nice contrast to all the sweets. It's a nice addiction. Nice addiction. <laughs> yep. Yeah, the salami, not bad. A little pepper, a little smoke to it. Overall, good. not a bad deal at all. Next up, the choco. It's like two cookies with chocolate in the middle. I know this wasn't cheap for him to buy. This probably cost quite a bit. That's a lot of stuff. I'll, I'll rescue you, don't worry. It's like a s'mores. This is like those German army biscuits in a German box packages with chocolate and milk. Yeah. It's like a, like a semi-sweet biscuit. It's like a s'mores without marshmallow. Mm-hmm. 
I did a better cross cut of that. That's probably one of the most semi-sweet things we had so far. That was pretty good. One, one of my favorites. The Chuba Bar. Merc, Merc chocolate, milk chocolate, and caramel. Looks pretty dark. Oh my. Oh my. Look at that. Don't wash your hands after that one, geez. It's actually also a fairly semi-sweet. Uh, it's more of a dark chocolate. I don't know why it says milk, but it's more of a dark chocolate on that one. I'd say that wouldn't last long in hot weather. It'd be a bad situation. It's very melty, very fragile chocolate, but it was very smooth. And yep. This is an English good. marzipan. Original marzipan bar. Anthon Berg. Thing, look at that. It's like a chocolate Twinkie, huh? I'm trying to cut this and not this everywhere. Melt my fingers as soon as I touch it. So marzipan is one of those things. It's a very acquired taste. It's like uh, it's not really even sweet. I'm not sure how to describe it. And the first time I came in, in heavy contact with marzipan, like I said, was those that Christmas hen that we did in Germany. Um. I'm not too much on the marzipan, to be totally honest with you. We gotta wipe the table off, man. Looks like 10 miles of bad road here. All right, what do you think? Not much on the marzipan? No, probably my least favorite, I'll be honest. Oh, I got some silver in the bottom, too. It's that wooden silver. We used, we used that in several rations already. We got that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, Robert. We may have to let this one go. To a later date, I we're I we're gonna live through this or not? Talking easily, and uh, that's my favorite usually. Let's translate it and see. Tabasca, Tabasca chocolate, and um, yeah. Anyhow, that's cafe gold. It's a coffee. I think, Philip, probably you good on coffee? I'm good on coffee. <laughs> I slow down the coffee a lot. And then you got some sugars. Got another coffee here. Coffee creamer. Coffee whitener. So, yeah, they gave me some coffees. Definitely, he'll definitely try those out. Um, micro choco. Oh, so the hot chocolate. Um, I'm not so sure we could do that right now. I'm like dizzy. I'm pretty damn. Sugar high right now, I'll be honest. That's some more Nescafe. I gotta drink all these coffees before we can leave here. Okay. All of them. For sure. <laughs> and here, last but not least, we have like a little chocolate egg. This will be our last one here. A little turtle. Oh my gosh. There you go. One last. Last one. Diabetes, boys. Here we go. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to cut it, but it's crumbling. It's crumbling real bad. I'm going to run myself with the garden hose after this, man. That was a messy one. I think that's more of like a one bite kind of situation. Yeah. Like you throw it in your mouth and that's it, huh? Very dark chocolate coming off of that. 
Um, that's a lot. There's a lot, a lot going on here, for sure. But a little, a little sip of chocolate milk here. It's very good chocolate milk. Woozy. That's gonna be it. Thanks again, Robert, uh, for sending this in. I think I asked him if you want any links put in there. If he does, we'll put them in the description. But that's gonna be it. We'll be back very soon with another ration. I think next one we're doing is probably gonna be the other Dutch ration. And then we have some more stuff on its way. We'll see what we could do next. That's gonna be it, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.